I always loved being a dance hall girl with a satin dress, feathers in my hair, and a sequin choker. Gun smoke, Miss Kitty, eat your heart out. <laughs> Did you notice that Ken was up to one of his old tricks trying to make us laugh? And he introduced us as the Pointless Sisters. I'll get even with you someday, Mr. Gelo. One of the things I noticed when I watched the show was that the three of us were sort of tucked behind the podium. That usually meant that one of the girls was going to have a baby and she wanted to keep working a few more weeks. Our costuming staff was terrific at camouflaging pregnancies and when all else failed, the props department gave them a hand. Arthur Duncan never needed any props to hide his lean physique and he always looked great on the show. Some of the suits the costume department chose for him were louder than his tap shoes, as you'll see in the vaudeville number coming up next. Vaudeville was the main source of entertainment before the days of radio, movies, and television. And one of my favorites was the great Bill Bojangles Robinson. We're very fortunate, ladies and gentlemen, to have a young man following in Bill's footsteps. Our own king of taps, Arthur Duncan. Duncan. <laughs> 